start with you, my dear. What is your name? Brian. Brian. Brian, how old are you? Eight years old. Oh, very good age to start with your first form. Brian, I think I know exactly where I want to start you. No. We're going to begin for you with a wound made of holly. A holly wound sits at 15 inches known to be nice and supple, very good with the invulnerabilities. Brian, I want to start with something simple, something merely to test the wand. Perhaps you wouldn't mind lighting up the room for everyone. Hmm? Hold the wand directly out in front of you. I want you to focus very hard just on the top there. You're going to say, Lewis. Powerful reaction for a wand that is not yours. So something about this is responding to you. Keep it rather close by. You do. What is your name? Josh. Josh. Josh, have you been sorted into your house at Hogwarts yet? Uh, no. It's all right. I do this pre-sorting all the time. Josh, I think it might be best to start you with something with a bit of um, energy behind it. This is a wand made of birch. Now, a birch wand is 15 inches, very flexible and very swishy. No, to be very quick. I want you to do something different, though. You must keep to what is suited to the birch. I want you to focus on these drawers here. Early today, I locked all of those drawers. I want you to pick one of them and unlock it. Wave your wand this time in a circle and a flick. You will say, Alohomora. Alohomora. Can you say it, Tony? Apparently not. <laughs> Turn into the most interesting puzzle, as both of these horns are showing such excellent signs of working for you. Quite powerfully, in fact. It's the most curious. Both of these horns appear to contain a dragon's heart string cord. If gifted by the same dragon, there is a chance that I'm merely Anyone else with you today? Friends or family? Family. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Please come. 